from suggesting death sentences to receiving death threats. The hate speech proponent, Aliyu Abdullahi, says his life is being threatened since he reintroduced the bill. Now, over one trillion naira spent on constituency projects gone down the drain. President Buhari says the rural communities have not felt the impact of the project. So, what happens now? Anyway, this is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anna Cohn. Aliyu Abdullahi, the senator who reintroduced the hate speech in, press, uh, in a press briefing in Abuja on Monday, said he has been receiving that threats. Now, he has reaffirmed that he's not a coward and will not back down from his decision to push for the law. The National Commission for Prohibition of Hate Speech Bill was reintroduced in the Senate on November 12th. It prescribes the death penalty for anyone found guilty of spreading falsehood that leads to death of another person. And I'm being joined in the studio by Mr. Dayo Kayade. He's a political technocrat. It's good to have you join us. My pleasure. How are you? It's good to see you. Now, of course, you have heard of this hate speech bill and, you know, the idea behind it. It's, it keeps coming up and then it, it goes cold again. Recently, it came back up into the mouths of every Nigerian. But it didn't really go down well with those who strongly are against it. Hence, Mr. Liu complaining about the death threats. And he has said that he's not going to back down. But as a person, what do you think about the death penalty when the whole world is trying to fight against the death penalty for anything? In actual fact, what is, what is even hate speech in the first instance? How do you, how do you determine whether a particular speech has elements of hate embedded in it mm -hmm. or not. If I tell somebody, don't be stupid, am I saying the person is stupid? It's debatable. I'm saying don't. I've already put don't be stupid. But you are in Nigeria. That is, and, and we, and we no, interpret this is, these things differently. This is English now. And he is speaking English. There is Nigerian English. It doesn't matter. It's still English. Okay. It's about semantics now. So which one is eight speech? That is one. Two. The same people, while they were in the opposition, we remember a series of, even at a point, they turned the patient, uh, patient good luck into... A loving stock. They will reel out a series of uh, fellow widow, whatever. You know, series of things like that. Not the talk of the one that we were telling uh, the husband. Nobody talked about his speech then. So why are you now talking about his speech? Let's even put that one aside. We are now talking about penalties. Don't we have sessions of our constitution that deal with seditious statements? We have. So why duplication? Off. It seems the guy is, is not busy. It seems they are too, some of them in the Senate, they are too comfortable doing nothing. So that for people to now see that they are doing something, they, they, they just want to come up with frivolous. I mean, Things that are not really necessary. I was, I was listening to your news the other time. And from, from a particular sand bit there, I think uh, Lemonisa's program or whatever. Mona Lisa. Meno, I don't, sorry, I don't know how to pronounce the name. Talking about Ghana trying to reach food sufficiency. Talking about a boy from age, age six making vehicle with cartons, and he's now old enough, now making vehicles that he was using batteries to move around. So why can't they talk about how to empower such a boy? So that, and the boy was even telling the old world, that, look, in the next so-so years, I want to be able to be assembling vehicles in this country. But, such a boy is but, supposed but to But don't you think that there is a genuine, and, and I'm, I'm not in any way, Supporting the hate speech bill or against it? I'm asking questions. Do you not think that there is a genuine reason or for 
the hate speech, anti-hate speech or hate speech bill well, because social media is a place where people hide behind avatars and, you know, DMs and send all kinds of messages. I'm just saying, is there no genuine, you. Is there no genuine threat to people or people spewing stuff that could lead to an uprising or hate crime against people? Or, it's a question. Do you think that there is any such thing happening in Nigeria? But the, the, the first, for, first and foremost, what is hate crime? How many people have died in Nigeria because of hate speech? To what extent are we seeing hate crime? It's hate crime in Nigeria. Even the seditious part of the constitution, to what extent has it been used in the past in Nigeria? That's to tell you that Nigerians, we are peaceful people, lovely people. But when you are trying to trample upon our rights, and then when a particular person is trying to abdicate his or our responsibilities, duties and obligations to the people that he has sworn to serve, then people are bound to talk. Look at him. Look at what, what, what he said in that is a uh, uh, conference, press conference. Number one, who are those people that have threatened him? He was also talking, hey, ah, this thing is not meant for, they are not, they are not bringing up that bill because, uh, because of the uh, third time of uh, the president. Who is talking about third time of the president? Is, 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 is he envisaging or prompting Propping up the president to go for third term or, or well, that's add... A, well, that's against do, the constitution. Do you understand? That's so why, why is he talking about... So it's, it's a non-issue. So why is he talking about that? But one thing we should know, one thing we should know, and which viewers should mark down is this. You can not, you cannot, for whatever reason, prevent beds from flying over your head, but you can prevent it from perching on your head. I don't know whether you understand. You cannot stop beds from flying over you, but you can prevent it from perching over your head. Why am I saying this? You cannot prevent people from talking. You cannot prevent people from socializing on, uh, through the media. But you can prevent them from talking evil or whichever one you want to put it as regards you. And is, by conforming that, yourself. But isn't that what the by, mm, is By to conforming yourself to the rules and regulations of engagement. If you, are, if you are the governor of a state... Ensure that you, 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 you bring to the people both economic and social well-being. Because that is what you swore to do. Okay, just hold that thought. We'll take a short break and when we come back, we'll be having my second guest. We're still talking about this um, hate bill or hate speech bill uh, and the sponsor who's getting death threats. I'll give you an insight into some of the things that he had to say at that press conference, stay with us.